In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a string part here in GarageBand and send it to a keyboard instrument so that you can use any of the instruments here in GarageBand and how to do it in reverse, how to take an instrument on the keyboard and send it over to the strings. It's very cool and I'm gonna show you how, let's go. Here's the deal, even though your strings and your keys both use virtual instrument MIDI data here in GarageBand, you can't copy between them. If we were to delete out this piano part and we wanted to copy and paste this string part, it just won't work. But there is a workaround. Like most things in GarageBand, there's a hack, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this one. Now, a huge shout out to Lloyd over at the GarageBand users Facebook group. He took a hack that I've shown before to turn your drummers into drum tracks and created this, which uses the same principle. Now, that one was another viewer's idea as well, and that's why I love this community, because you folks provide these cool ideas, and all I wanna do is make sure that they're shared with as many folks as possible. Step one, we need to create a new project here in GarageBand and come over and grab our strings so that we can play in a part. Now, we can use the autoplay or however you wanna do this. We're just gonna use autoplay number one and we're gonna hit a D minor chord and record in some strings. So let's hit record, hit D minor. Now we'll just do two bars here because we just wanna show how this works. We'll come back here to the track view and here's the secret source. We now need to hit the plus button and we need to add in the audio recorder track. Now you don't need to use this for anything but you do need to just hit record and let it record for about a second. And it doesn't matter, you can record nothing at all. What I then like to do is grab this track and just drag it to the top here so that you've got that in track one and then your strings in track two. We will close out by tapping in the top left there. And what I like to do is just rename this. So let's just call this strings so that we know that this is our strings project and we are done. Next step is to create our keys track so that we can transfer our strings over. So let's do that now. Once again, we're going to tap on create song. This time I'll do the audio recorder first because we know we need this in track one. So I'm just gonna hit record. Once again, record a little bit of nothing and then come back to our track view by tapping on this button here. What I now need to do is create a keyboard track. Now you can use any keyboard instrument. If we hit the plus button here, we're gonna scroll across and find our keyboard and tap on that one. Now let's put the oboe on here. That could be an interesting one. Let's leave it with oboe, but you could of course use any of your different instruments, your keyboards, whatever you like there. But we'll go with the oboe just to show you the power of this one here. So now we can come back to that track. That's all set up and ready to go. We can tap this one to close out of it. And then let's just rename this one and call this one keys. We are set up and ready to go. Let's show you the super secret special final step that makes this trick work. So we'll once again tap on the strings here. And what we wanna do now is copy all of these. So we wanna tap out here in the blank space and hit select all, and then just tap anywhere in either of these, tap again and hit the copy button. That's gonna copy both of these tracks. We can then close out of this by using the top left button here and open up our keys track and we're ready to paste in. Now the secret to getting this to work is to make sure that you select that first track there. You can then tap on the actual blue section here, tap again and hit paste and drum roll please, boom. It will overwrite that audio track and it's gonna paste that string part but into a keyboard instrument. Pretty cool, huh? And now if we come in here and we play this back, let's take a listen. Now you'll notice there that sometimes the string parts don't sound amazing because they've got a bunch of different uh, sort of processing on them on the MIDI information. So you may need to play around to find an instrument that will work better. They're really designed for strings, but it's something that you can actually do. Now we can go the other way. We can go from our keys to our strings. So let's show you that now. Let's delete out that string part. So we'll do a deletion there and let's go into our keyboard instrument here to our oboe. And uh, we'll once again, we'll go here to the, the chords view and we'll play some autoplay oboe. So this time we're gonna hit record. And again, we'll do the D minor thing again. We'll hit record, we'll tap D minor. There you go, we've got a little oboe part in there. We'll come back to our track view, and guess what? Yeah, you're probably ahead of me here. We can do the exact same process, which is to tap down the bottom here, hit select all, tap in one of these, tap again, and hit copy, and then close out of this project, and then we're ready to go into our other project, 
and paste it in. So we'll tap on the strings project here. It's ready to go. Again, make sure that you've got that first one selected. Tap there, tap there again and hit paste and boom, there you go. We've now got that oboe part here in the string. So let's take a listen to what this one sounds like. So there you go. If you've ever wanted to take any of your keyboard parts and send them over to the strings, you can do that. And now, of course, you can tap on this and tap again and go to edit and you can move all of these around and create them. And this works with any of your own created sounds as well as all of the autoplay sounds. So it really does open up the possibilities here in GarageBand because you can use any string or any keys part and send them between each other.